The painting that I have been researching is Artillery Man by Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, and he was a German Expressionist painter. Kirchner was an architect student in Dresden, Germany. Um, he and a couple other students that were his friends didn't like to follow academic art standards, so they created a group called Die Brücke, which is the bridge, in 1905. They were German Expressionist artists. They created many different types of art. Um, a lot of their art first started like as woodcuts. They exhibited their works across Germany, and they would rent studios and display them there, and people would go and see it. But over time, there was the First World War, and they just kind of disbanded and went their separate ways. So after that, he had to join the military. Um, he didn't want to be drafted in the military and have to be on the front lines. So instead, he joined so he could have a different job. He became an artillery driver for the German army. Um, unfortunately, the person that he was, he just couldn't handle being in the war and seeing the things that he saw. He kind of had a breakdown and was medically discharged in November of 1915. He wasn't in it that long, um, so that says something about his state of mind. Artillery Men is a painting that Kirchner painted right out of getting discharged out of the war. It depicts a group of young men in the military that just were becoming soldiers, um, all taking a shower in the same room, and there is a superior um, kind of guarding them and making sure everything, I guess, is going according to plan. Um, all the men look very similar, if not the same. Uh, the only one that looks different is the guard. Uh, I think this is because in the army they do strip you of yourself to have more control over you so you do obey them. Um, so I think he's definitely showing that here with the similarity and they don't have any personality to them. They don't look any different. Um, they also look very cold and without any life in them. You can see just by their color, it's so yellow and there's not a lot of color and warmthness to them, unlike the guard who has some pink tones and things like that. And there's a lot of loose brush strokes in this painting, which is a very big aspect of German Expressionism art. So what I will be talking about next is another one of his paintings that he painted before the war called Street Berlin. Um, I believe that he came out as a completely different person, and I feel like you can see it through his art. He suffered with a lot of abuse when he came out. Um, he started using different colors, different subject matters. They were still in the realm of German Expressionism, but they were much more personal and emotional scenes. And I feel like you can definitely see the struggles that he was going through and the images that were still in his mind that were fresh. His painting, Street Berlin, was painted in 1913, so about two years before he went off to the war. Um, you can see that it's a very big difference in color and just subject matter as well. He was just painting contemporary life. He would go out into the streets of Berlin and just paint anything that he saw. This one happens to be what people think is maybe prostitution going on within the streets. Um, you can definitely tell that there is cubism influence. Um, the figures are very angular. There's also phobism influ influence. Um, the German Expressionists, I think, got a lot of influence from this. They used really bright colors, just like Favism had. Um, and also another characteristic in German Expressionism is 
the distortion or flattening of the space. Um, this one has it, and well, this one really has it, but also Artilleryman does have some as well. Um, the room is really unproportionate to the men, but this one is very flat. 